Hello friends, this is Tanya with another close-up video for the Greatest Friends on Earth release. I am going to share with you the Big Top Dice, Big Top Builder die set. And the first thing I'm going to show you is the most simple version of constructing this, um, this tent. We're going to do a simple camping tent in a green. And these are the pieces that you need. You need the big base, the door, and the little um, support. I'm going to use a little bit of green ink to add a little bit of depth to this uh, project. You don't have to do this, but I think it um, does create a nice uh, added feature to it. I'm using some darker green on a lighter green cardstock. I did use the same color card stock for both of those green tents. I just used a different ink to ink them up. One looks a little more earthy and the other looks a little more bright. Now I'm going to take the tent opening die here and I'm going to glue that centered on the front of the tent. <clears throat> and next I'm going to take one of the inner pieces. Now this would be the background, the back of the tent as viewed through the front of the tent. And this piece would be the floor of the tent as you're looking in through the door. So I tend to make that top piece a little darker to denote the depth of it. This little swag is on the top of the tent where you would have tied up parts of it. And we're going to use this like the bar across the top of a tent that acts as a support to help keep the tent up. And that is the first version of this tent. We're going to make three. This is the second one. I decided to make a princess tent. That's what I'm calling it anyway. And you use more of the pieces to do this one. You use the stripe piece for the top of the tent. You still use the door. We're gonna add a couple of swags and, well, some little pennants and a swag scalloped swag to go on that and we're also going to use the little tent pole and flag. I'm going to do some fancier ink blending on this one using some purple and pink distress inks. I'm adding some deeper colors again to what is going to be the back of the tent looking through the door and some a little bit lighter for the what would be the floor as you're looking through the tent door. I'm also using a pink here to add a little blending between the pink cardstock and the purple on the shading on the bottom. We're going to, um, nope, I am not going to adhere this on quite yet because I decided I needed to do the ink blending on this roof or on the, yeah, on the roof of the tent. I'm going to glue the stripe part. Now you could make these stripes a different color than the base of the tent and we'll do that later. But for this one, we're going to keep it the same color. And then we're going to very carefully, that's one of the secrets to getting this down. You um, adhere those two sides of the tent top and then gently tack or slide your fingers down the other stripes to make sure that they don't get um, bent out of their correct orientation. Now I've masked off the bottom of the tent and I'm going to ink blend the uh, top of the tent in the same way that I did the bottom of the tent to create um, two different areas of definition. Now it's time to put the flag and the swag and all of the extra pieces on. I'm just adding some extra darkness to this little teeny tiny piece that you may have noticed in the set. And that is to add a, a shadow piece on the, the flag. And we'll show you how to do that in a little bit. Now to make this cute little swag with the pennants hanging off of it, I am putting a little glue on the pennants and I'm taking the scalloped swag and adhering that centered over the top of it. And then we're going to glue that just under the bottom edge of the top of the tent. And it will fit in there perfectly. That isn't a struggle at all. I love that these dies were so very carefully thought out and that they are so versatile. You can make so many different 
looks with this. It's not simply a circus tent. You can make it look in all kinds of ways. I could see this as a craft fair tent. I could see it as a boy's tent out in the, well, as a kid's fort out in the forest. I could see it in a whole lot of ways. Now I did not ink blend the opening, the door opening. So this will stand out a little more clearly on the front of the tent. Here is that swag. We're gonna glue that top swag on top uh, where the door is tied up. And then we will add the inside of the tent with the darker piece for the back wall of the tent and the slightly lighter piece for the floor of the tent. Almost didn't have to do those. Last piece in for that part. And now we're going to deal with the flag. There is a little tiny tent pole that I cut out with the same shimmery white paper as I did the flag. Now the flag, the shadow piece for the flag and the flag itself are all on the same die. And I'm going to very carefully pick up that little tiny piece, which I have to flip over and get it right side up. And I'm using a wax pencil. You can use any embellishment kind of wand to pick that up. And I'm just going to tack that in and add that little shadow detail to the flag. Now, sometimes when I get a little extra glue, I use my pokey tool to um, take that glue away, just pick it up with the end of that and wipe it off. And there's those two tents. Now, this is the most elaborate of the three tents. This is the circus tent. And I, for this demonstration, I'm using red and white. And you use all of the pieces. Now, these little pieces have a swoop either to the left or the right. And there is one that has a deeper swoop than the other on each side. These little tiny pieces cut out the little pennants. So if you wanted to cut those out and glue them, you sure could. There is another way to do that if you would like. So here we go with the tent topper. We're going to put that on first and that is the best way to do this particular style. Again, just tacking down the outer stripes and then gently smoothing the other ones down. Now we're going to take the deepest swoop on the left and glue that directly below the stripe on the left. So I'm going to glue each of the ends on first. And that lines up the same width as the stripes that come down from the top of the tent that matches up. Then the next two stripes that have still have a swoop, but it's a more gentle swoop and it does get higher on the ends. That's why they are swooping to the outer side. And this one has no swoop. It's straight across on the top and bottom. All of these are straight on the bottom. And this is the only one that's straight on the top also. And there they all line up perfectly. Now we're going to take that little support piece and we're going to glow that right up against the edge of the top pieces. And it does fit in there just perfectly. It's not a struggle at all. I just put a thin line of glue on the paper, on the tent base. Now we're going to take the scalloped piece and we'll glue that right below that support piece. And they cover that white gap perfectly. Then we're going to take the door opening and this time it's in red. You could make it any color you wanted. And we're going to center that on the middle stripe so that the um, tent is or the opening is completely centered. I'm just going to snug that down so that the bottom edges, there's a little bit of a flat spot on the bottom of the tent flaps. So that lines up perfectly with the bottom of the tent. We're going to add a little darkening on the piece that is denoting the back of the tent and just slightly less on the piece that's going to be the floor of the tent. And we're just going to tack that in. 
just like that. And then the piece that's supposed to be the floor of the tent, we'll just tack that down. I try to make sure I put glue just particularly in the corners so that they'll stay stuck. And now we're going to grab the swag for the top or the piece that's the tent opening tied up and next I have the little pole for the flag on the top this time I cut it out in gray to match the support piece that we put across the top of or where the the roof of the tent and the body meet and this flag is red and I'm going to add that little shadow onto that. I did do a little shading with the gray ink also to make that a little bit darker. Now that same piece that we used as the support across the top, we're going to use as the um, tie down ropes on the side. Now the pennants, like I said, you can use those dies to add color to the pennants or you can color them with a marker or colored pencil or some other medium and then glue that uh, tie down piece or a support piece right to the top of those and again it is shaped perfectly to just lay right down over the top and fit seamlessly on there it is a thing of beauty <laughs> for a little tiny piece it actually is super easy to use I'm just using the edge of my finger to get that lined up completely with the flags and that's what they look like comparatively, the one that you glued down and the one I colored. Either way will look fun. Now I'm just going to tack one end of that under the co top corner and then you swoop it down so it's level with the bottom of the tent. And this is the one I messed up on. I didn't quite have those stripes figured out. But if you look inside the door, you can see little dots representing people in the stands waiting to watch the circus. I got that nifty idea from Tanisha herself. <laughs> Those are my three examples. Now I'd like to show you how these tents fit on different sized cards. This is a three and a half by eight and a half inch slimline card which um, it just about fits on. You could make it a shorter tent. If you left the flag off, it would fit. And this is an A2 sized card in the portrait and the landscape. It will fit most efficiently on a landscape. And this is a five by seven card base. It fits on a five by seven card base the best in my opinion. I love that because I love to make five by seven cards. There you go. I'm sure it would fit on a number of other creative card sizes. And here's a peek again at the three different versions that I created, which are just scratching the surface of what you can do with this die set. We've got the simplest tent, the princess tent, and the circus tent. And here are several examples of how you can use this die set on cards done by the design team. Here's a fun one by Carrie Rhodes where she used it to do an interactive card. You open the door and then you flip it up and see the lion inside. I think that's adorable. And here is a cute one by Davina where she made a trifold card and another awesome one by Cassie. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and if you're interested in these products, check the description box below for a link. Until next time, bye-bye.